Okay, my friends, this is the Leapfrog Leapquake Barbarian. Ton of fun. You can see you have very, very many different ways to spawn your Earthquakes. And you're gonna have a lot. You can perma leap without any monsters. This allows you to basically move around at the speed of light. We also have this lightning chain link and just a ton of fun. It can also deal uh, some pretty significant damage here, like once you're leaping like on the targets. I saw it hit for up to like 500 million with the leaps and yeah, just a ton of fun build. And I'll show you here some gameplay and some overview from the leap quake. Okay, boys. So this is the leap quake, Bob, man. You can just perma leap. And we pull everything in and we leap. Jumping jacks. So a lot of you that have been missing this, we have like crazy AOE, big leap. We pull everything in, everything dies to our earthquakes. And we can also move around the map extremely fast. Look at this, chop, chop. Oh, here's a maiden, okay. Let's get some maiden. And DPS is pretty good, we have shouts. We have maiden blasting. We have a ton of earthquakes, we have a big duration and big size on the earthquakes. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, perfect aspect. Let's go. We can cover the entire screen in burns. Okay, that was all me, my friends. All me. And whispers are already unlocked. Oh, there. You can kind of see the speed here. Like, this is the speed of leaps. I'll show you the DPS on this Hellborn here as well. Where's he at? Okay, there. Boom. Dead. Here's another Hellborn. Boom. Dead. It's, it's actually hitting. For up to uh, 700, 800 million per ticks. I've seen like some, something like that. And you can like easy bridge the gaps. And you can't run out of leaps. Like even if you're not hitting any targets. Show this to you here real quick. So you see here there's no targets. And we can still leap like crazy. So good cooldowns. Leap with no targets. It's very nice to do bounties. All sorts of things. It's a ton of fun. Chop, chop. Chop. Just chop them all. And it just looks good. Like you're basically leaving this. Let me just jump around here a little bit. See, like you're leaving this entire screen burning with earthquakes. This is a build with Ubers, unfortunately. I think you really want the Ubers. But it's fun, man. Like if you like a frog barb, leapquake barb, just sort of playstyle. I can also show you a pit or a nightmare dungeon real quick. See, boom, easy, easy. Chop, chop, chop. I don't know, we can do like one of these gate dungeons. I don't even know them all. We don't even know them all. Some of the new ones. Bounties is Grim Favor Whispers. So the way we achieve Perma Leap, guys, is with giant strides. And I don't even have my gear like fully master worked. And then you have Leap Cooldown Reduction here. And you can also have a Brawling on the ring. And then we just leap. Just like this. So you can see me leap around. So I'll show you the entire setup here in a second. It's a very chill build. We're just having a good time leaping here. Chop, chop, chop. Everything dies. The earthquakes have pretty big size as well, like after you uh, get the size roll on two utility tempers. And then yeah, you can also leap over this optic side here. Because the kitty is lazy. And we also have uh, ways to pixel pull, like we're using the um, cry rune to basically cast vortex. And we also have the wild bolts, which allow us to pull in the enemies into directly into our earthquakes. So those are a ton of fun. Okay, here you can also skip these gaps. It's very cool with Leap, what you can do there. And then we just uh, create all sorts of chaos. Like, you can basically just go because you know that these earthquakes, they're pretty much gonna kill everything in our backs. So we're gonna jumping jack over. Obviously, you wanna still uh, pick some of the optic side. But you can basically just hold down, and this is much better than with Evade build, because here you can just hold down the Leap button. You don't have to, you don't have to like spam click it, you just hold it, and then it gets very easily. And every time you land, you're casting two Earthquakes. And then in most cases, you're even spawning even more Earthquakes because you have a double chance to cast and you cast even more Earthquakes like as you do normal stuff. And boom, the dungeon is done. I'll show you the build here uh, at the target dummy in a second. And boom, you also get this. Marinese. 
I'll show you the build though. That's basically how the playstyle looks. Let's go to the target dummy. And then I'll show you exactly what we're working here. Yeah, it's a ton of fun. It's just a cool build. Like, you know, like the Mario playstyle. We're having a good time here on the leap. And go on our nice Paragon 300 Soulstone guy. Oh, I think... Um, so there is basically some things you can do. I think I want the Bolt Chieftain. Ideally. But the Bolt Chieftain is still bugged to this day, guys. I still haven't fixed it. But this is definitely an item that you can play. Alright, and this is what the build can do here against those uh, target dummies. You can see, like, kind of the damage numbers. It's going up to, like, 800-ish. Like, depends a little bit on, on what you're doing. But uh, you can just basically jump around and have a ton of fun. And you, you spawn, like, a ton of earthquakes. And they can also spawn twisters. You can combine the two. However, right now, this is basically, like, a full... Uh, earthquake version here that is uh, a ton of fun to play um, so what we rock here we have buck cry rune so this one whenever we travel we get the uh, vortex that pulls in enemies we also have the wild bolts this also pulls in the enemies into our earthquakes and then we are rocking yal tech so whenever we cast a skill with a cooldown which you know leap is a skill with a cooldown so when we do this twice you don't even see this, but this is like already four Earthquakes spawning. And they all spawn Twisters as well with the new Force of Nature Glyph. So we just have a ton of stuff here on the entire screen. Like so many Earthquakes and so much stuff going on. It goes pretty crazy. Like this. <laughs> you can get the entire screen full of basically like Quakes and all, all sorts of things basically. And uh, yeah, just have a ton of fun with it basically. Like you have no cooldown on the leap. That's the that's the that's the coolest part I think. Like you just just like even if there's no monsters, guys. Look, even if there's no monsters, like you can just leap. You just leap. You see my cooldown is three seconds. And thanks to the rune here, we get four seconds back. So we can just leap, 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 leap. <laughs> no cooldown. Earthquakes for the win. So um Harlequin's Crest, cooldown reduction, Shroud of False Death, more DPS. Uh, Fist of Fate, uh, this is just big lucky hit, big DPS, and they made it work now where you don't have to switch Ramalala Ding Dong with the Fist of Fate. Yeah, there's no more snapshotting, it just works. They finally fixed it, guys, after a couple long seasons. Uh, then we have the leap aspect here on the um, pants. This basically allows our leap, you know, to cast earthquakes, and then we actually have chance to cast even more earthquakes. With, with all of our gear. On the boots, you want either leap or brawling skill cooldown reduction. I think brawling skill can be a little bit better, actually. And there is either you play iron skin or you play ground storm. The ground storm thing is so cool because it spawns earthquakes. And it can also reduce the cooldown of your ultimate if you spend in the uh, points. I think in the optimized version, I would actually recommend uh, you going here with ground storm and then reducing the cooldowns. You see here, boom, you can get the ultimates uh, kind of ready again and uh, just blast like that basically so it's pretty cool so that's why i like brawling skills a weapon looks like this obviously you want to triple crit the chance for earthquakes and then here i don't have it right now but you would want earthquake duration berserking damage and what's also really important is to have close damage guys you need to scale close damage to actually i don't have it fully maxed again this build's not fully cooked i haven't upgraded everything to fully max your and juice your force of nature because this one is giving you a two point 5x DPS multiplier on all your earthquakes. Um, but we have some pretty cool synergies here where we get a ton of like close damage. We'll talk about this in the Paragon section. And then we rock in Ramalali. So you want to assign your leap to the maze plus the sword. And we use the maze so we can uh, work with some passives that I'm going to show you in the skill tree. Then we have Grandfather here again with Yaltek. Super cool combination. Like you just leap and it just creates earthquakes everywhere. You see, this is like one leap creates four earthquakes at times. Like. You basically just blast the entire screen full, man. So much fun. Um, then we're rocking the giant strides. In case we hit a monster, this one also resets our leap. So if we hit a monster, boom, our leap, you see, also gets reset on landing. Um, then we have either the Bolt's Chieftain. However, there's a bug with it. You can also play another DPS a rune, like either Edge Master or Intercom. And then on the weapon here, we have the Lockruns Talisman. So we are double scaling our Fury. So you see here we have 30, uh, 336. So we have Fury here. We have Fury here. And that also means we want to be taking 
the um, elixir of resourcefulness for even more resources and more fury. Uh, because this is basically, again, scaling with Romalaldis and scaling our crit with Lockron. And you want to try to get 100% crit. So Lockron already gives you 40, so it's extremely easy. See, I have like uh, basically 98.7 at the moment because I have 50. Eight and I get plus 40 again from Lockron. So I basically every hit is a crit. Again, if I were to like fully master work my rings and stuff, then I would actually hit it. Uh, expertise, of course, we have the X uh, mastery expertise here. Uh, skill tree just looks like this here. So we just have uh, tempered fury. And then, yeah, I mean, there's like things you can play around with in the skill tree. I like to have some more points in ground stomp, I guess. I was like playing some higher runs, but you see like it's not fully optimized, so. There's definitely a ton of stuff you can do. Like here, for example, now we have the max ground storm with strategic ground storm. And again, this uh, helps you so much. Like you have your ultimate, boom, you can just press it and then like you, you reset it and you have it like instantly again. Like perma ultimate here with the ground storm, for example. Or again, if you like it more defensively, you'll play iron skin with the healing rune. Um, then we like rallying cry, challenging shout, war cry, booming voice, guttural yell. Uh, leap here, I like the slow one, it's easy stagger the bosses. Uh, battle fever here for berserking, aggressive resistance for DPS, uh, for damage reduction. We don't need prolific, even though we get a couple ranks in it. Uh, we have slaying strike, pit fighter, counter offensive, uh, call of the engines, wallop, this is the reason why we use a mace, and then of course unconstrained. Paragon we rock like this, we have exploits, other board, no, no big surprises here. Uh, then over here, like, yeah, Warbringer is just, like, I have it still, but you're not really spending Fury and your Fortify generation. Your Fortify generation is all coming from Strategic Red and Cry. And look at this unbreakable ball. This is uh, with Wild Bolt, by the way. So, yeah, just a ton of Earthquakes. And your Ground Storm also, obviously, uh, spawns Earthquakes. Everything spawns an Earthquake, pretty much. And then we're rocking Territorial here. This one we use to get close damage. And close damage, again, is scaling with Force of Nature. And then we also have Marshall here in the Force of Nature board to scale the close damage even further. So with these, close damage scaler, Marshall, Territorial. And then we have one roll with close damage. And it's even the bad roll. And then you basically um, max out... Again, I have a bad roll, so I don't have it fully maxed. But you will have a Force of Nature at max uh, with the close damage. And then what you can also, or what you also want to do is at least uh, like one roll on the two-hander or two rolls for Berserking. I don't have the perfect rolls here. Again, the planner is going to have the perfect rolls. Because you also want to be focusing on crit damage because it becomes a good uh, multiplier here with Lockrons and with uh, Grandfather. You guys can kind of see I already have like 3,000 crit damage and basically 100% crit chance. So the planner... It's going to be linked below and this one has like obviously like the perfect rolls that you want. For example, you want the Earthquake duration because this is directly correlating with your DPS. So chance for Earthquake at 100% ideally. You can masterwork this three times here on the weapon. And then you can get the duration here and masterwork that three times as well. Significantly increasing your DPS even further. And then the rest of the nodes. Challenger um, with Decimator. So Challenger just big DPS, we just have the strength uh, skilled. And then up here we have Rumble, so this one is the big DPS glyph. 1400% uh, Earthquake damage with Blood Rage. This is another multiplier you see here. You also have a 1.3 if you have two Berserking rolls with this Paragon. Just Like my rolls again are not really the best. Like you're missing 10 here and if I have this 10 for example, you want to have 300 and I'm missing you know, another like five here. So you're gonna have 300 if you have decent rolls. So that's pretty good. And that's pretty much the entire product. And then Marshall, your last but not least. Marshall also really helps you. Like if you fuck up your leap, like it can happen. I mean, right now I think it can't because I have so much cooldown, but it, it can basically happen. Like when you uh, hit like one non-boss target and then you can also use this um, like Marshall to reset your leap cooldown instantly, but it also resets like your earth, your cut off the engines and stuff like that. And then it depends. You can play Ground Stomp or you can play the Iron Skin. This is just a fun build, guys. You want to play, you know, some jumping jacks. You want to have some fun. Uh, this is the build uh, to rock. I hope you enjoyed. Again, the planner is below and Bob is more like fun. We we'll see uh, just a few days, guys. Then the mid-season patch is going to be coming out and um, maybe we're going to get some juice 
and some good buffs to this barbarian. Let's go! If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.